Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about a problem on sampling distribution of the mean. So without further ado, I'll share my computer screen with you. A businessman buys several machines that fill bags with chocolate. He is interested to find out how equally the machines fill the bags. He programs the machine to put an average of 30 grams of chocolate in each bag with a standard deviation of 4.5 grams. He then randomly selects 100 of the bags filled by the machines. What is the probability that the mean amount of chocolate per bag in this sample is less than 29 grams? Okay, so we are talking about the sampling distribution or the probability distribution of X bar. So let me draw a bell shaped diagram. Okay. So this is the sampling distribution of the sample means. That means we have X bar on the horizontal axis. On the vertical axis, we have probability. So this is the sampling distribution. Or probability distribution of X bar. Distribution of X bar. Now, from central limit theorem, for a large sample size, which is n greater than 30, uh, states that the mean of the sampling distribution, which is given by mu x bar, is equal to mu. And sigma x bar, which is a standard deviation of the sampling distribution, sometimes called the standard error, is given by sigma divided by square root of n, okay? So the center is mu x bar equal to mu. In this case, mu x bar is equal to 30, okay? Because mu is 30. Now, sigma x bar, we need to calculate, is equal to sigma, which is 4.5, divided by square root of 100, which is, 4.5 divided by square root of 100 is 10. So this is 0 0.45. So the question asks, what is the probability that the mean amount of chocolate per bag in this sample is less than 29 grams? We know at the center, mean is 30. So 29 has to be on the left of the mean. So it is somewhere over here, 29 on the left of the mean. And we want to find the area for that to the left of 29. Left of 29. So 29 is less than 30, slightly less than the mean. And we basically want to find out what is the probability of X bar is less than 29. We know the mean is equal to mu X bar is equal to mu equal to 30 and sigma X bar equal to 0.45. So basically, we have to find the area to the left of 29. This point over here, this is the, this is 29, okay? And the center is 30. Maybe I should draw another diagram a little, little clearly. So give me a minute. And uh, I'll do it uh, over here. Sampling, this is the probability distribution of X bar. The center is 30. Over here is 30. And we want what is the probability of X bar less than 29. So we want this area. Remember this curve stretches to the negative infinity on the left. Okay. So you want to find all this area, okay? This is again the sampling distribution. 
sampling distribution is probability distribution of x bar. Okay. So we will use a TI-84 calculator. So we will press the second button, then the verse button, then scroll down to number three, uh, number two, sorry, which is normal CDF. Okay. This will then ask, what is my lower? Remember, I'm starting from a very large negative number on the left, which is in calculator is given by minus one E99. Normally, when you open a TI-84, it already gives us, a, let me see my TI-84. Okay. <clears throat> and you want to go to find this area. So uh, let's do second. So we press the second key, then the worst key, which is in the third row of the calculator, then number two, normal CDF. Okay, the lower, my lower is not minus one E99. So I have to type here minus, this minus sign is next to enter on the left of enter in the calculator keys. And then I type in one, and then I have to type in a small E, capital E. How do I do that? I do that by pressing the second button. So I'll write here, second button, and then the comma button. Where is the comma button located? On top of seven. And that gives me the cap small capital E. And then I type nine, nine. So minus button next to enter, then number one, then second button, then comma button, which is on top of seven, to get the E, small capital E, 99. By the way, this small capital E is for exponent, which is means minus 1, 10, exponent 99, okay? Then the calculator will ask for upper. So your upper is 29, okay? So it is 29. Pardon me, I'll... Uh, write it again. Let me give me a minute. I'll fix this. So, I'll fix this. Okay. Okay. I'll fix that. Let me go back here. Not here, I go back here. Okay, let me select the black. Okay. So, again, the lower is minus one. E is second button. And then comma. Minus is next to enter. E is second. And then comma button. Comma. Where is comma button? On top of seven and then 99, and my upper is 29. My mean is 30, and my standard deviation, remember it's a standard deviation of the sampling distribution, which is also called standard error, is 0.45. So let's do take care of it. So upper is 29, mean is 30, and the standard deviation is 0.45. And then I go down to paste, okay? So the next thing that comes over here is paste, okay? So move this a little bit. Okay. Okay. Then move. Okay. Yeah, it moved. So, so paste button. Paste button is at the bottom after sigma comes paste, paste button. So put your cursor on paste and hit enter and enter. Remember with paste button, you have to hit enter twice. Enter twice. Okay. And your sigma, remember we talked about is sigma is 0.45. It is not uh, 
4.5. It is 0.45. Make sure of that. It's this one is this is 0.45. Okay. 0.45. So it's 0.45. So paste enter and enter and enter twice. Okay. Enter twice. And the answer is 0 0.01. Three one point zero one three one. Okay, so the answer is so uh, let's go over here, it's equal to zero point zero one three three and then one. Okay, so I will uh, stop here today. Uh, it's point zero one three one is the answer. So uh, let's reduce this up a little bit. So that's your answer. Probability of X bar less than 23, less than 29 is 0 0.013, which is less than 0 0.05. So the sample mean less than 29 is very unusual because this probability is less than 0 0.05, which is 0 0.0131. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, you can write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like my video, please tell your friends about it and please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.